ladies and gentlemen, the War Within is coming up packed with some amazing features. We're gonna have the Warbands, Hero Talents, maybe even the Delves are going to be amazing. But I think that the most important feature is a different one, one that is going to save Mythic rating. Before we dive into that, I was actually planning to make a video that was going to be named Mythic Rating is Killing the Game. Based on my experience recently changing few different guilds and I'm glad I didn't because I didn't want to make a negative video and now we have something good to talk about. In order to understand the full extent of that new feature, I'm going to share my story which went from playing into a casual guild, going into a cutting edge guild that killed Farak, and then settling in in something in between. I've spent Shadowlands playing into a guild that would kill just a few mythic bosses in the raid every tier, but that guild fell apart in the beginning of Dragonflight and the main reason was the limitation of having exactly 20 people for the mythic raid. That guild played into a relatively weird times, it was a morning guild and we had big troubles maintaining 20 people on our roster, we often had to pug one or two and slowly but surely this guild fell apart because we just couldn't get the numbers in. Having this 20 people limitation is a different problem and I would encourage every single one of you to go into the forums and talk about it there because Blizzard said they're not fixing it for the war within but if we keep asking they're gonna keep thinking about it so maybe that's the right thing to do. Moving on with the story, I went into a CE guild that was just about to kill Farak and they managed to do that couple of weeks after I joined but a very weird thing happened after that. As soon as the boss was dead, 10 or 12 people immediately left the guild. And it had nothing to do with the drama. Couple of people moved because they were looking for different raiding times. Couple of people got recruited by better guilds so they moved up a level. 3 or 4 people left just because they were burned out and they didn't want to play anymore. And in the weeks that followed, 2 or 3 people were also dropped just because of that burn out they had to do over 400 attempts to actually kill Farak. Now you would think that that would be the end of that guild, but actually they were prepared for this to happen. They had almost 30 people on the roster before the kill, and they were also monitoring another guilds that were in the same situation. They were either just about to kill Farak, or they just killed it. And the difference is that these guilds were not prepared, so they just fell apart. Because exactly the same thing happened there, half of the roster was gone as soon as the boss was dead. So the takeaway here is that these bosses were so hard that guilds would either fall apart after doing 3 or 400 attempts on them, or if they didn't, they would lose half of their roster and they would have to refill with fresh people. The story continues with me failing the trial in this guild because I was competing with 15 new trials who are 9 out of 9 mythic for Ag and I haven't waited for 2 tiers because I didn't have a guild. So I ended up applying to my current guild which was at the time progressing mythic smolderon. I was part of the third wave of recruits that would try to salvage the situations because people were dropping like flies trying to kill this boss and taking over 300 attempts. Luckily they persisted and we managed to get the kill at the end, but I think you can see the pattern here. Mythic rating is not only limiting by the amount of people that can participate in a guild, but at some point the bosses become so hard that it takes months for guilds to kill them if they're not raiding every single day of the week. And once that happens, it's only natural that people are going to burn out and quit the game if they spend over 300 attempts to kill a single boss. I think that's a huge problem because more and more people are quitting the game, which means that less and less people are mythic raiding overall. However, one of the newest features in the War Within is potentially going to solve this problem. As long as you keep doing the raid, you're going to be getting a stacking buff which is going to increase your damage and healing done within the raid. This buff just got changed on the beta, it gives you 3% damage and healing per stack and it stacks up to 15 times, which will give you overall a 45% boost to your damage and healing. Now these numbers are subject to change, in fact they were already changed from 20 to 45% overall, 
But I honestly think that this is going to be the best new feature in the War Within, not to mention that this buff is also going to apply to oaths in your warband. The buff of course starts from zero, which is going to keep the playfield equal in the beginning of the season, but later on more casual guilds, which are still devoting a lot of time to raiding, are going to get buffed and rewarded if they do 100, 200 or 300 attempts per boss. And in fact these pool numbers themselves should be significantly reduced later on in the season because of the buff. It would allow these guilds to progress further into the raid, a lot more people are going to get a sense of completion for much less time and much less attempts invested into those bosses, which should definitely reduce that burnout rate and who knows, maybe it's going to increase the amount of people who try raiding in general. I think this is going to be great for the hardcore raiders as well, because first it's going to make their re-clears later on much easier and if they decide to, they can also play ults which would have it a bit easier because the buff would be already stacked on their account. So I think that this is easily the most amazing feature coming with the War Within and I'm really looking forward to see how this plays out on the live servers, but let me know what do you guys think about it as well and what is your perspective and your point of view, as your situation and your experience is probably much different than mine. Thank you very much for watching, I'll see you in the next video, now get out of here.